Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Thursday, everybody, on this May 23rd. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. All right, good to see you, Ken. Good morning to you. All right. Mike, Gene, Frank, good to see you. Benito, Andrea, Lewis, good to see you. Jeff, everyone. Hopefully everybody's getting ready for the, the uh, Memorial Day weekend. Looks like... Uh, Pretty crappy day here in New York. It's going to be raining all day, so I expect it to be an exciting one. But I don't know about tomorrow because it looks like, uh, looks like it's going to be a really nice weekend. I think a lot of people are getting out. A lot of stuff going on uh, regarding about today. I mean, everybody saw what happened yesterday. Um, I, I'll tell you the truth. I kind of I got out of all my swing trades. Um, after after um, seeing what happened with President Trump and the Democrats, uh, you know, that the, the whole uh, infrastructure plan failed. Uh, you know, and then seeing what's happened with China, you know, I wish I sold earlier when 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 uh, when that whole thing happened with China. But you, you got to remember, as being a professional day trader, you learn how to swing trade and you learn how to option trade because it's happened over the course of the day. You see what's happening with Tesla, too. Yes. I mean, there's a lot of there's, there's a lot of um, um, negativity and, you know, angry people out there. So. I, I, we, we need some good news to come out. So I think you're gonna probably going to get a little bit of sell-off going on regarding about the market. So anyway, um, regarding about trading, listen, I just want a good deal. You know what I mean? So you could always, you know, there's an old saying in trading. You, you know, you could always buy it cheaper. You know, you if you love the stock at 50, you could, if you could buy it at 30, you'd be drooling out of your mouth. Why hold it till 30? Just buy it back then. So these are the little things you got to learn as a trader no matter, you know, and I always say, I don't like to get into politics, but no matter if you're a fan of being a Republican or a fan of being a Democrat or who's winning this and that, we're all traders. We're, 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 we're the third party and we just, tra we, and, and no matter who's there or whatever, we're always going to still be here. We're always going to be here. So we just need to capitalize on it. And if it's not just that, um, it could be, you know, catastrophes. I mean, tensions of, you know, I was talking about what happened in Iran yesterday with the war. I mean, a lot of these uh, military stocks might pick up. But let me tell you one thing that's going on today also. There is a lot of earnings coming out today. Tons of earnings. I mean, I was just looking at my my report over here. We got close to, geez, we got 47 companies that are reporting today. Uh, BJ's reported, Best Buy, you know, a name everyone knows. Uh, Hewlett Packer, After the Close. Uh, Decker Outdoor Shoes. Um, geez, I can go down the list. U.S. Technologies is going to be doing it. Uh, Intuit, I mean, raw stores, they're just, it's just endless. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of companies coming out with earnings today. So, and then obviously, uh, when you go into next week, uh, I mean, you're not going to have as many, but, you know, it, it looks like um, tomorrow you have eight, you know, it's typical Friday. <laughs> you know, and I don't think, I don't know what people think about coming out earnings uh, the day before, <laughs> the day before one of the busiest, uh, most popular holidays of the year. But overall, there's a couple of stocks that are moving. We're going to check them all out. But, uh, but before we uh, get to our, our execution system, guys, just remember, Phase 2, Lesson 1 does start today and tomorrow. Remember, the most important thing about your education at Cyber Trade University is we're not here to teach you how to make money. We're here to stop teaching you losing money. And you got to be in those classes that are, uh, that are coming up. And then, um, and then also, I am going to be on Investor Inspiration today with a multi-speaker and event, some of the best masterminds of trading. So if you guys have not have gotten that link, we, know we do it at 11 o'clock, which is the best time to do your homework and take your classes. So we'll see you then. And then, uh, and then don't forget, I will be doing phase three next week. But don't forget, for some people, I know not everybody's here from the United States, market is closed on Monday for remembrance of our great veterans. And, uh, you know, let's give our veterans a round of applause too. You know, let's thank them for all their, uh, their service. I always like to wait until Friday to do it, but you know what? It's never too, uh, never too early to thank them for their hard work. I know we have a lot of people here that uh, are veterans too. All right, so let's get to our execution system, see what's going on, and uh, see what's happening in the market. First of all, there's a big, big list that's going on right here. Not the greatest um, as in pre-market goes, you know, as in seeing a lot of stocks. I mean, there are a lot of stocks that are moving, but, you know, but regarding about yesterday, let me just touch upon that. We had the S, uh, the PSTG that moved pretty nice yesterday. Great short. I mean, we had a lot of good shorts yesterday. Just very easy winners. Stock went from 17 down to 15. You know, once again, you could see it uh, 930 to 1030. You pretty much are done. Listen, remember I told you about swing trading? Okay, 
If you, if you just saw this over the course of the day at 24 and you're down to 20, you're still hoping it's going to come back. Well, you know what? You wake up next morning and this is what happens to you. So ESTG, you know, it, it was a, a got crushed from the night before and sure enough, it kicked in here. But it looks like it's got support levels around 14, but I don't think anybody wants to hear about after the fact. PCOA, that was another one that was a great short yesterday too. That one just got decimated too. That thing just uh, had a nasty shake right at the open at 9, and then from 9.30, boom. Uh, especially going to the close was pretty good. It went from like almost 5.80 all the way down to 5.30. Very nice, slow mover. SE, another one, uh, nice little early mover. You could see it stock gapped up. Uh, C's actually, that did pretty well. All right, so um, that's what you guys missed yesterday. Now let's go over and talk about what's going on this morning. The OBLN, uh, Benia is already bringing it up. Yes, I mean, that thing is just getting killed, killed. From I mean, here's a stock that we traded yesterday with a big run. You know what? Want to hold overnight. Look what ends up happening. Started exactly where it started yesterday. Look at the chart. Look at the orders. Just getting destroyed. So it looks like it's probably going to go back down to about 45 cents <laughs> from where it looks like it. Unfortunately, too bad we can't short it. But sure enough, don't be holding overnights. And there you go. PNXP. Another nice little mover right there. The stock got a little destroyed uh, from 14 all the way down to 2. Looks like it's up a little bit. Had a little bit of move yesterday. Looks like it's starting to come up a little bit. 184,000 shares. Look at the matrix, guys, on the right. Look at level 3. Got 5,000 share buy sellers, 10,000 share sellers. Um, you know, obviously, that's making a resistance where it's testing right now. That one looks pretty, uh, pretty interesting. WB, Something a little bit more on the expensive side, which, you know, I'm not always a fan of. But here you have a stock that took a big hit from 75 down to 51. Now she's down to 45. Once again, you want to hold overnights? You don't see the day trade? This is what ends up happening to you. Looks like it's breaking 52-week low. I don't know about you guys. I don't see any buyers on the bid. All I see is sellers. Not a lot. A lot of small tier sizes. So, you know, that's why one of the reasons why we're not a big fan of trading something like that. But it's always good to learn. Here's another one. Spitting image of WB. Here's another one, CINA, Sienna. Look at that one. This one got crushed, 66 down to 47, it's down to 42. You know, nice little, could be a nice little short. Once again, you got to be a little bit more of an advanced trader to trade a stock like this. So be very, very careful trading the SINA. What else we got on this list? NTAP. NTAP, same thing. NTAP got to basically... Uh, Got destroyed after hours. Obviously, it looks like an earnings announcement. But she's starting to come up a little bit. But uh, you got some support levels right here. We'll keep an eye on it right here. But once again, $61. Eh, you know, not a really big fan of, you know, spending that much money. Let, remember, less risk, more reward. BJ's had earnings. Looks like BJ's doing pretty decent right now. But it really hasn't gone anywhere. You know, we made a lot of money on BJ's on the, uh, uh, on, on the IPO when it went public. And then uh, good thing we got out of it. Because it ran all the way down to 20. They, somehow they came out with this stupid uh, secondary offering and just crushed the stock. Uh, at like 24, was it? 22 or something like that. But um, looks like she's holding pretty good right here. I, mean, I don't know. Probably I would scratch. It doesn't look like really a day. Remember, BJ is not really a day trade. It's more of a swing trade. Nets. This one also. Nets got a nice little move right here. Nice little cheap little stock. Up 38%, 400,000 shares, 12,000 share buyers, no really big sellers. Pretty nice little stock right there, right up our alley. AVP, another one that you guys saw earlier, but looks like she's starting to make a little bit of reversal right here. Had a really good after hours, obviously an earnings announcement, and now starting to back off right here. I don't know, I might want to scratch it. 22 million shares traded. Wow, that's a hell of a lot of shares in AVP. LB, L Brands. Gapped up pretty big after hours on, uh, you know, I guess on that earnings announcement. Now starting to back off, up 8%. You know, stock took a little bit of a hit. Up a $38 stock. Looks like it's holding there. I don't know. thing that gets me nervous about this, remember everybody. Remember we talked about this. I said this yesterday. You got to focus on the, you got to focus in, in phase one class when we talk about tradable and non-tradable. Because remember, just because you like the company doesn't mean you can get out of it. Remember, you didn't make any money until you sell the stock. PWT and tier size has a lot to do with it. And this one probably looks like the little bit of the better ones out of them all. You know, it is, a, it is an ETF, but you could see it is trending up nice and slowly. It's going up nicely there. 
uh, up a uh, nice little trend. Remember, ETFs, you got to be a phase two trader. Stock trades a lot of volume. Look at that, 100,000 share buyers, 67,000 shares. I mean, this thing just trades some crazy, crazy volume. So um, got to be really careful when it comes to that. Move that over. Yep, 145,000 share buyer. Who the hell does that? All right, anything I'm missing that I did not call out? Kind of explains why the stock's going up with that big buyer on the bid. Look at that. See that right there? Uh, Ken, VIP is getting bought. Is that what it is? V um, AVP is getting bought? All right, well, I don't know what the price is. So if it's getting bought, usually maybe they didn't come up with the price yet, but it looks like it's looks like it's going to be where, where it's at. Uh, ben says the NV... The N, uh, up four cents, up 65 cents, five, seven million shares traded already. I know, it's just crazy how much volume it traded. Thing is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. But it is gapped up pretty big. So definitely, uh, you know, let me, let, let, me, uh, let me bring up a point before we go. Because this came up yesterday in, in, the, in my uh, in the open house webinar that we did, the free webinar, people always come up to me and say, do you guys trade penny stocks, penny stocks? First of all, I don't know. For, we do not trade penny stocks here at Cybertrade University, okay? For several reasons. First of all, if we traded a penny stock, you wouldn't have level three quotes. Number two, you know, um, does it, you know, is there anything wrong with it with trading a stock that's under like a dollar, whatever it is? Listen, we see stocks like this move up three, four hundred percent. You're not like investing in it, you're trading it. That's all that it comes down to. So, you know, thing that I don't understand is like why people, but they, you'd rather go out there and they'd rather trade Tesla, you know? And because they can't afford Tesla, you know, they'll, they'll go out there and, uh, what am I spelling? Spelling it wrong. Uh, what they'll rather do is, oh, but I could trade the options, you know? And once again, poor man playing a rich man's game. And those are the people we want to compete against, unfortunately. No disrespect to anyone, but listen, it's a game. We get paid for it. I don't get paid to lose, right? We don't get paid to lose. So anyway, good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, don't forget, class today, phase two, all right? And then we got uh, less, uh, phase two is going to be starting. Got the lesson start today. I'll be doing phase three on Wednesday. And then I would also be on the multi-speaker event on investment inspiration and then remember the market is closed on monday so in the meantime if we don't see you in class we'll see you back at um we'll see you back at 2 30 for the afternoon meeting see if we find what moves in all right everybody good luck today happy trading see you in class